I don't really like to reveal too much of the personal about them, but uh, it's another personal piece for me. Um, just pieces I find that speak to me. It's very strange when you work in the, in the medium of found object and you're trying to collect these things to kind of put a cohesive piece together. Um, I'm John Rankin. I'm a found object assemblage artist and photographer, and um, I am standing in front of uh, a piece I call Inching Forward, and it's a found object assemblage piece that I made specifically for the artist impression of the Mother Show. I find objects and I rearrange them and try and put them into some sort of symbolic order that makes some meaning in my life and I hope it transcends to um, other people. Ralph, Janet and I, we, we sort of uh, curated the show, um, invited a bunch of different artists that we knew would be very, very different in approach um, with the theme of uh, the mother. And we knew we would get a, a, you know, quite a variance and I think we succeeded in that. Uh, really proud of the artists that came out. It developed from, uh, you know, an intense desire to, to have something in my hands working with because I was probably more nervous than she was. Hi, my name's John Stalling, and uh, this piece is uh, entitled Sarah's Firstborn. And it's not a current piece, it's a piece I did uh, 14 years ago when my first grandson was born. I guess this piece is about uh, trying to alleviate some of the pains of, uh, of childbirth. I was sitting on the front porch of my daughter's house. She was tr trying to do a home birth and do a water birth. And everything was prepared and I wasn't allowed in, which I didn't really want in the house, so I sat on the front porch with a little piece of brown victory wax. The day went on and after like 16 hours of hard labor and the sounds of the, of, of her, of the pain uh, developed this piece. I guess the most noticeable part is that it, the longer it went on, the wider the hips got, <laughs> trying, trying to uh, create a situation where, where uh, the birth would be easy. And uh, eventually the child did come. His name is Maya, and a wonderful actor right now. He's, uh, he's in theater and a lovely, lovely kid.
Well, my name is Gina Galena, and this piece is my crocheted installation dedicated to my aunt, Rosalie, who is pretty much the closest thing to a mother I have right now. And um, when I was a kid in the 70s, her kitchen was all avocado green with mushrooms everywhere, and we used to kind of make fun of her, like, hey, remember your kitchen with all the mushrooms? And we'd all giggle. And so, anyways, lovely Sparky here uh, has donated a bunch of yarn, and old yarn and a lot of it was a lot of avocado green. So when this, insul this installation, this idea came about from the artist's impressions for the mother, I said, well, now's the chance to use this avocado green and gold and fluorescent orange that I would not hardly ever use. So I did her kitchen inspired for her. So, and it's just kind of my idea uh, in my crochet fantasy world of what it would look like <laughs> and so I just kind of put pieces together that I remembered all by memory so I love this assemblage of artists because this is stuff's all real it's not about victorian houses it's not about it's not about landscapes it's about real stuff the mother and i think all these a lot of these pieces make me cry because they're real and i know all these people that's why it's such a wonderful show and a moving show i decided to make a piece under another name my uptown art name is Harvey O, because it sounds more arty than Ralph Wilson, Mr. Shrine. So I made a glass bridge with the angel looking down on it, and this is called, it's called Span of Time. It's a tribute to my mom. In other words, the river of life flowing. There's two broken pieces of glass out down there that resemble dogs, and so that's what that's all about. It's a beautiful piece, and I use another name because nobody would believe that I made it. You know, I like that. My name is Ralph Wilson. I am known in Eureka Springs as the Shrine Guy, Mr. Shrine. This piece on the wall, this wonderful cross, there was a tree struck by lightning here. Terry, who is the instructor at the high school, called me and said, do you want some lightning wood? Even when I talk about it, it makes the hair on my arms go up. I made a cross out of this. I put it in this show. I've had it for a while, but it's just so moving to me. I really hope it doesn't sell because I love having this over my bed. And what makes it so special, we would say in Spanish, El Rio Cruz de la Madera, wood struck by lightning. And that's very special to me. This is her correct phone number, so, and she will answer the phone for anyone. <laughs> my name is Janet Alexander, and uh, my mother was supposed to be here for the event. She wasn't able to make it, so I thought I would offer her as a uh, gift for anyone who wanted to pay $300. I figured the price is about right for what you get. Uh, she's about 87, so she's kind of on the low end right now. So, but people are bidding and calling in. So, you know, get her while she lasts. <laughs> My name is David Pettit, and this piece is called uh, Mother Earth, but it's in Spanish, and I believe that's Tierra de Madre. This art piece wanted to be um, functional, too, and uh, so it's really a bird feeder, and uh, I'm going to add some peanuts in there. I could have done it last night at the opening, 
but maybe there'd be peanut shells all over the floor. But the birds will be eating those peanuts tomorrow. This little representation art form is doing what the mother does for us. It's going to do it for the birds. And so I thought that would be um, a way to uh, do the theme for this show. Your 